The story starts with Rain being called by his adventuring group. Suddenly, the leader of his group told Rain that he is fired. Then we see wolves running towards Rain. Rain is a beast tamer, and his class is used to enter into contracts with various animals. They are not particularly useful in combat, however Rain was accepted into a hero's party. He tried to support his adventuring party every day and thought he had earned their trust. Back in the present, Rain was confused, and he thought they were just joking. Alios got angry and he said that they are not kidding. Everyone looked down on Rain, and they didn't want Rain in their group anymore. Suddenly, Lean laughed and she said that he is useless. Alios told him that they no longer wanted to protect him. In addition, he said that other than carrying their luggage, he did not contribute anything to their success. Rain was shocked, and he couldn't believe that they all hate him. Rain didn't know what to do anymore, and they said that he should return his equipment because they collected the items. After being kicked out of his party, he remembered how useless he always was. Rain was always protected by the others and understood that they looked down on him all the time. He couldn't believe he didn't notice it sooner and was disappointed in them. When he didn't know what to do anymore, the children showed up and they wanted to play with him. As a result, Rain showed them his tamer skills. After Rain tamed a falcon in the sky, he told the bird to greet them. The children thought Rain's trick was great and he canceled the familiar contract and the bird flew away. Suddenly a boy said that he wanted to become a beast tamer. Rain was surprised and asked why they didn't want to become a hero. The boy said that the hero's party are mean and rude. Then the children said that Rain is nice and they like him. They all wanted to become beast tamers and get rich as adventurers. Following this, he decided to become an adventurer and visited the Adventurer's Guild. Rain told Natalie that he had no knowledge about the life of an adventurer and Natalie explained to Rain everything that he needs to live as an adventurer. So Rain thanked her for the great explanation and Natalie asked about his class. Rain replied that he is a beast tamer and the question made Rain remember Lean's words. We then see Rain completing a test to register as an adventurer. Natalie told him beforehand that everyone had to take a test because bad adventurers could damage the guild's reputation. Then we see Rain again. He was hunting goblins and managed to successfully defeat them. Rain used all of his techniques and was able to defeat the goblins. He then thanked a squirrel for supporting him. As he wanted to go back to the guild with the item drops, Rain heard a scream. Rain ran into the forest and he spotted a huge killer tiger. The D-rank monster planned to attack a girl, but Rain tried to save her with a knife. He attacked the killer tiger, but his sword immediately broke. The killer tiger then decided to attack Rain. Rain said that the girl should run away immediately, and he wanted to sacrifice his life. Rain tried to buy enough time for the girl to escape. The girl didn't run away and she jumped into the air. Then she prepared a strong attack and she defeated the strong monster with just one kick. Rain was impressed and he was enchanted by the sight of her. He then immediately noticed that the rescued person belongs to the ultimate species in the world. Rain was surprised to see one of the rarest species, a cat spirit. Suddenly Canada got tired and Rain was able to catch her in time. He was worried about the girl, and she whispered in his ear that she was hungry. Rain was confused, and he gave her his lunch. Then we learn that cat spirits cannot use magic, but they have strong physical strength that no one can keep up with. After lunch, Canada thanked him and said that she had already seen her grandparents by a river. Then Rain learned about her name, and he introduced himself, and he said that he is an adventurer. Canada wanted to be friends with Rain, and she thanked him for saving her. Following this, Rain asked why she was in the forest. Canada then explained that there are only a few cat spirits in the world and they live secluded lives in the mountains. She said she wanted to see the world and she was happy to have met Rain. Afterwards, Canada wanted to learn more about Rain because she got a liking on him. This is how Canada found out that Rain had been fired from a hero party. Canada was angry that they fired Rain even though he's such a nice person. Canada was frustrated, but Rain said he wasn't sad anymore. Then he thanked Canada and she was happy to be petted by Rain. Suddenly Canada said that Rain is not weak and she complimented him. Then she suggested that Rain should enter into a familiar pact with her. Canada said that she is sure that Rain will be able to tame her as his familiar. Rain was unsure, but Canada encouraged him. Afterwards, Rain remembered his helplessness in his childhood and was determined to gain new strength with Canada by his side. He suddenly realized that he doesn't care about Canada's new power because his true desire is to get to know her better. As a result, Rain launched an attempt to tame Canada. He created a blood pact and created a contract that binds Canada to him. So Canada was tamed by Rain's beast tamer skills and she accepted the contract. Canada became Rain's partner. Following this, Rain said that the contract was a complete success 
and Canada was happy to see her familiar contract on her hand. Rain said he's looking forward to having fun adventures with her. Canada was happy too, and Rain realized that he had a great and nice ultimate species at his side. Before they returned to the guild, Rain had to complete his adventurous test. Then Rain tamed a cute bunny, and he was ordered to call his friends. As a result, Rain tamed many fluffy bunnies and they helped Rain find the medicinal herbs. All the rabbits spread out on the field and Canada was shocked. She said that normally Beast Tamer can only tame one partner, but none could create multiple packs. She asked where he learned such abnormal Beast Tamer skills. Rain didn't know that he was unique and said that every Beast Tamer could definitely make multiple packs. A few hours later, he handed over the drops that he had collected and he passed his entrance exam to become an adventurer. Natalie congratulated him as the new adventurer of the Horizon Guild. Rain also received a small reward and Natalie motivated him. Meanwhile, Canada was waiting for Rain and she was happy that Rain is now an official adventurer. Then Rain said that he wanted to start a quest immediately, but a man appeared. He looked at Canada and was amazed to see a cat spirit. Suddenly he started harassing Canada and she refused to answer him. Then he called Rain a weakling and Canada became very angry. She said that Rain is her master because he tamed her. So Rain introduced himself as Beast Tamer, and the other adventurer laughed at him. He said that God spirits are far too powerful to be tamed by a weak Beast Tamer. As a result, the man wanted to challenge Rain to arm wrestling. Rain didn't mind that the man looked down on him, but he wanted to protect Canada. So Rain accepted the challenge and he planned to win. The arrogant adventurer thought he had already won. When their match started, Rain immediately defeated him. Suddenly Natalie appeared and she apologized for the adventurer. The adventurer was injured and he pulled on Natalie's dress, so she hit him with a table. She said that she had lost her temper because of the adventurer and apologized for scaring them. Afterwards, Rain was surprised at his new abilities and Canada explained to him that he had received them because of their familiar pact. Rain was surprised and replied that he didn't know about it because no one had ever tamed an ultimate species before. Following this, Canada collected medicinal herbs, and she was depressed because she had imagined the adventurer's life differently. Rain told her that he is an F-rank adventurer and he needs to gain experience first. Meanwhile, the bunnies collected enough medicinal herbs, and Canada was shocked. She couldn't believe he was already done even though she had barely helped him. Then the rabbits looked down on her and she got angry. Rain planned to return to the guild, but Canada heard a scream. Then we see a group of bandits threatening an old man. Canada heard rumors about a famous group of robbers and said that they are dangerous. Seeing the bandits threatening the old man, Rain wanted to help him. Canada was glad that Rain got the same idea and she planned to support him in the fight. Then they launched their attack and together they defeated the bandits. Canada managed to save the old man and she was aware that Rain is a special beast tamer. Before the fight started, she was afraid that her powers were too powerful and that Rain's body would break apart. But during Rain's fight, she was happy that Rain could control her powers. She couldn't stop staring at him, and her heart was pounding with excitement. After Rain defeated all the bandits, Canada blushed. Following this, Canada said that she saved the man, and Rain didn't notice that she got a crush on him. Afterwards, the old man thanked him for his rescue, and Rain learned that his escort had run away. The old man then became worried that the bandits would want revenge on Rain. So Rain decided to capture the remaining group of bandits. Canada was worried about him since the bandits were a group with more than 100 members. But Rain told her that he got a plan, and a squirrel then found the bandits' hiding place. Canada was frustrated because she was no help to Rain again. Rain tried to cheer her up and she laughed because it was just a joke. Then Rain showed her a bee. Rain told her that he once learned to tame insects. This is how Canada learned that there are also insect tamers, who are a subclass of beast tamers. Canada was impressed again because Rain is special. After that, Rain ordered her to go to the city to get help, and she was worried about Rain. Then Canada wished him good luck, and she went back to the city. Following this, Rain tamed hundreds of bees at once and he planned to start his attack. In the meantime, we see Lean and Mina from the hero group, who had the job of protecting the old man. They ran away, and they were angry that Alios didn't come with them. Also, Lean was angry because their new beast tamer is useless. He replied that he doesn't fight because he's just a beast tamer. Lean said that even the useless Rain tried to fight. Meanwhile, Rain attacks the bandits with hundreds of bees. Lean was surprised to learn that Rain is a special beast tamer. But Lean thought that the new beast tamer was a liar and didn't believe him, and she said that she will kill him if he tells someone about their failed quest. Lean was angry, and she didn't want to accept that Rain was overpowered. 
Then we see Rain and he managed to paralyze all the bandits with his bees. A short time later, Canada showed up with reinforcements, and the adventurers praised him. The adventurers told him that the knights didn't want to help them. Following this he praised Canada for her good work, and she was happy about his words. Suddenly the ground shook, and strong monsters appeared. Rain was shocked to see the king lizards. The arrogant bandits planned to control the king lizards, but they immediately attacked the bandits. So Rain and Canada started to beat up the king lizards so that they wouldn't hurt any more people. Rain said that the adventurers should get everyone to safety. When Rain faced the monsters, he realized that he is now strong. He was happy to have met Canada and fought the monsters with her. As a result, they attacked together. Later we see the adventurers hoping that Rain and Canada aren't hurt. Suddenly Canada and Rain came out of the cave and everyone celebrated their victory. In that moment, he realized that he wasn't useless and he looked forward to his time together with Canada. Rain thanked her and said that he can do anything with her by his side.